What makes a good strawberry? That's a hundred million dollar question. Beauty is a big thing. Um, firmness, um, something that's gonna last a while. Obviously it needs to taste good. So it's gotta yield, it's gotta be producible by the nurseryman. It may need disease resistances, pest resistances. All of those things are on our list. So there's a lot that goes into that. The UC Davis Strawberry Program has, uh, it's, it's kind of a legacy. It's been around since the early 1900s and moved to Davis in the 50s and have been breeding strawberries ever since. In, in any given year, we're looking at at least 10,000 or more new candidates for selection. We look at all the traits that we're trying to improve and making decisions on how to drive the breeding strategy to get better products out to growers. All of this is done traditionally. We're using the genes that exist in the crop. There's a lot of value in identifying those genes and then putting them in place so that they're useful. You can buy UC Davis strawberries at any store. Currently still to date, 60% of the varieties that are grown in California are uh, UC Davis derived varieties. So we have a, a new variety that we're releasing for this summer plant segment. You're welcome to check the plants here. We have uh, Portola, we have Mojo, Finn at the 242, P23. We've been testing it for two or three years and we've gotten good feedback from the growers, our collaborators. The, the variety that's grown in this segment is called Portola. Production with the selection, and it was an increase between 48 to 66% in yield compared to Portola. That's always got farmers excited. <laughs> And it tastes good. You know, you just have to try them and see what you think. We also have four other varieties that we're releasing. So we're excited. They all are nice tasting berries. We've bred in fusarium resistance and the growers need that. So as growers and marketers of berry products in North America, we're extremely excited about the news and the information coming out about UC Davis's new P23. I think there's some really great potential. There's one that I see that I like a lot. Thanks for coming out. And uh, like I said, if you're interested and want to grow some of this, um, let us know and we can, uh, I can get you a box or two. I'm most excited about meeting farmers' needs. A plant breeder's role is never ending because there's always another problem. <laughs> so there was a tractor driving behind me a, a minute ago and it was it was sucking up ligus bugs, you know, so maybe that's the next thing we're working on is ligus resistance.